Hey guys, now if you're working with the Wacom, you of course expect perfect performance and this is what I always got on the Mac. Now as soon as I switched to Windows, something weird happened and I call it a glitch but it's actually way more. It's, let me put it this way, the Wacom worked but it was compared to the Mac almost unworkable. You had to click three or four times, touch didn't work on the Mobile Studio Pro sometimes and that was after an update. Now when I got my mobile studio pro at first everything worked fine now there was an update and things went totally haywire nothing worked anymore and actually the same on the Cintiq and this is weird because again I'm used to the Wacom I know how it works and at first I thought maybe it's me maybe I'm retouching a little bit too fast but when you have to touch or press three or four times to sample that isn't the correct way so I looked online and on some forums and there are many many solutions but also many people who don't know how to solve it. So I thought let's make this video because we actually did find a solution. Now according to some people what you have to do is go into your calibration of your Wacom tablet and disable Windows Ink. Now don't do this. It will solve it for let's say 90% but you lose your pressure sensitivity and that's something that you need of course. Now there's a way better solution. Now imagine this. Windows uses pen and touch, right? So you have this whole interface. Now that can collide with your Wacom drivers. And I think that's actually what happens because as soon as we do this, you go to Cortana and you actually type in pen. Now you see pen and touch on your control panel. Now it opens up on my second monitor, so let me get it in the frame for you guys. There we go. Now you have several settings and these are the most important ones. Now go to press and hold and go to settings. Make sure you disable this. Now normally and after the update on the Mobile Studio Pro this was enabled. Make sure you disable this and press OK. Now you're not done yet. Go to Flix and do the same thing. Don't enable this. Make sure it's off. Press OK. And now in Photoshop and all the other programs you should have touchback. Everything should work just as you're used to from Wacom. Now this literally cost me many many hours of frustrations. And I hope that by watching this video, I will save you guys a lot of time and searching around. And some guys even went back to all the drivers and it didn't work. So make sure you check those settings and your Wacom should perform as you're used to.